Corner kicks without chaos is a myth. But even amid the chaos, all players have their eyes on one thing, the ball. So how are players able to focus on the ball all throughout from the corner to the D-box? From the moment the ball is kicked, the eye is always on the ball. Light rays reflect off the ball and enter the eye to focus on a light-sensitive layer on the back, the retina, thanks to its converging lens. Plus, around the eye, a ring of smooth muscles exists, called the ciliary muscle. To understand the way the eye adjusts to focus on the ball throughout, let's assume the ball to be a point source emitting light. Notice two rays traveling towards the lens, these rays converge at a point on the retina, and we're able to see the ball clearly. Now, as this point source comes closer and closer, if the lens remains as it is, the light rays won't stay converged on the retina, making the ball look blurry. But here's the beauty of the ciliary muscle. They contract, making the lens thicker, increasing the converging power of the lens, and accommodating vision, just like how a camera has the ability to shift focus because of the varying converging power of lenses. This exceptional ability of the eye, the power of accommodation, is what lets footballers see the ball at all times without even a blink of doubt. What's the limit of our eye's accommodative power? Keep watching Goal to Goal for all things science and football.